Michael's Q-Bid. The Michael's Q-Bid is a bridge bidding convention. It's widely used all over the world to show a particular type of two-suited hand. Exactly when it's used and what it shows is up to partnership agreement. But here's what I suggest. If the opponents open a minor, and if you now bid that minor, for example, one diamond, two diamonds by you, then this is a Michael's Q-Bid. It says nothing about diamonds. Instead, it says to your partner, I have at least 5-5 five, five in the majors, partner, and I have a minimum of around 8 or 9 points. And ideally, those 8 or 9 points will be in those suits. The same would apply if the opponents open one club and you overcall two clubs. Again, it says, I've got at least 5-5 five, five in the majors, partner. If the opponents open a major, then if you overcall that major, it's still a Michael's Cubid. For example, one spade, two spades by you. It shows five cards in the other major and five cards in one of the minors, which is unspecified. It could be five plus clubs or it could be five plus diamonds. Also, again, you must have at least eight points for this bid and you would want most of those points to be in those suits. The Michael's Cubid tells your partner a huge amount about your hand. Unfortunately, it also tells the opponents a huge amount about your hand. And so for this reason, you want to be careful when you use this bid. Use it only on suitable hands. And a suitable hand is one with eight or more points, basically a hand which is interested in game, facing something suitable from partner, and a hand where the points are mostly contained in those two five or more card suits. Here are a couple of examples. In this hand, the opponents open a diamond. You bid two diamonds, the Michael's Q bid, showing at least five five in the majors. This hand is an ideal hand to make a Michael's Q bid with. It has the right number of points and all those points are contained within the suits. Your partner loves this information from you and bids four spades. In this hand here, the opponents open a spade. You bid two spades showing at least five hearts and at least five of an unspecified minor. Your partner will then bid three hearts. In this hand, the opponents again open a spade and you again bid two spades showing at least five hearts and at least five of an unspecified minor. Your partner doesn't like hearts, but doesn't know which minor you have. So your partner can here bid two no trumps. This two no trumps is an asking bid. It says to your partner, please bid your minor. So you can now show your diamonds and your partner will bid five diamonds. In summary, the Michael's Cubit is a very descriptive bid, which shows hands with at least a 5-5 shape with a focus on the majors. Over a minor bid from the opponent, it shows at least 5-5 in both of the majors, and over a major bid from the opponents, it shows at least 5 in the other major and at least 5 in an unspecified minor. The Michael's Cubit tells your partner a lot about your suits, but it also tells the opponents a lot about your suits, so use it with care. By the way, this Michael's Q bid is often used in conjunction with another bid which is similar called the unusual two no trumps. The unusual two no trumps shows at least five five in the two lowest unbid suits. Songs, hi -yo.